This is YSM Sports Media. I want to thank you for all your love and support. Really appreciate it. We wouldn't be able to do this without you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and click the notification button for all future content. With Hot Shot Hacker, what's good? <laughs> what's up, dude? Getting it in. Yo, just had a fight Saturday. Um, yeah. Paul Crawl. Yeah. Tough fight, man. Very tough fight. What'd you think of it? That's why I was overall pleased because it's Paul's eighth fight. We get called five weeks ago, maybe five, about five and a half weeks ago, about this kid. We realized, oh, he just beat with Kyle Fox. Hmm. Wow. From the tape, he was very wild, uh, very aggressive. I mean, put, puts himself in bad positions a, a lot. But took the fight. We thought it was a great fight to take because he just coming off a great win. It's always good. It's always good to be the guy who beat a respectable, another respectable uh, prospect. Mm. You know what I'm saying? All these guys is prospects, like it or not. And I still look at uh, Santa Maria the same way. He, he a prospect too. Even though he got two losses, because he'll beat anybody. Um, so what happened was, when he came out to fight Paul the first round, I realized he wasn't walking straight to Paul. He was stepping to him, but he wasn't walking to him. Like he wasn't, he wasn't stepping to him without any care. Like you know what I'm saying? He was mm -hmm. being, be actually being smart. Then he right away started turning south Paul, going back to Orthodox, trying to throw Paul off. Good first round. Second round, Paul get caught with a vicious body shot. That was the highlight of the round. You know what I mean? To, then to see him prosper through that from three on, let me know in my mind, this is a real fighter. You know what I'm saying? Nothing that you could be like, uh, what if? And uh, I don't know. Like, no, nah, we know he's a real guy. I mean, he got eight fights. And that was the first 10 round. That was impressive. Why? Like, even uh, the announcer Goosen said, why him in your eighth fight, though? In a 10 round, at that. Normally, it's customary, they'd be fighting like sixes and eights. Well, we're fighting in the day right now where everybody want to say they're the best. They're not leaving it up to the media. They're not leaving it up to fans. they trying to say it out their mouth. I'm the best. I'm the best. So guess what? Promoters, matchmakers, managers, all of them, they're going to play off that. you the best. you in shape. you tough. Let's see. At the same time, part... With the extensive career, amateur career, and him being 25, he's not old, but he feels like, his manager feels like, and we feel like his name should be dealt with with some kind of respect. Mm -hmm. The only way for him to earn that respect is to beat guys like that. You know I mean, you're not going to get that respect beating anybody. You know I'm saying? You beat guys like that now, on TV, people say, damn. People say, damn. You know... I, I can't say nothing. I can't have nothing but respect for that guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, what what did Santa Maria do that made things difficult for Paul? I mean, he just he just was patient. He was being patient. He wasn't giving himself up too early. Um, he was coming from wild angles. He was coming at awkward times. Um, he was strong. He was big. He was about 5'10", you know what I'm saying? He probably blew up to about 170 pounds. He was, he was, you know what I mean? He was a sturdy opponent. His his mind was on, I'm going to beat this guy. I'm going to fuck his head up and I'm going to beat him. He, his mind wasn't on, all right, I'm going to see what he got and then quit. No, he was trying to win. He was, you know what I'm saying? It was a competitive fight. After watching it over and over, I probably watched it about, probably since the fight, 11 times. Mm. I got it 7-3, Paul. But it was a tough 7-3. It wasn't 73 where I'm just giving him rounds. It's like, I got to really find a little shit why he won his round. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And, and it came down to him leaning, landing the, the, the cleaner punches yeah. at the right times. You know what I'm saying? Were you worried when he got hit with the body shot? Because he was obviously hurt. Uh, of course I'm worried. But at the same time, I'm tickled because we talk about this shit in the gym. One of these guys going to make you pay for something. You got to be ready. Paul was ready. You know what I'm saying? When it happened, he like, God damn. But we got to think about that shot. The liver shot put men down. And sometimes it put them out for the count. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He didn't even go down. But he felt that motherfucker. He carried it. He carried it through the rounds. You know what I'm saying? He had to do what he had to do. I was proud of him. Yo, so what's next? Um, Eight no, six knockouts. What we try to do is get him back in the ring as soon as possible. That way he stays sharp. I don't like my fighters sitting. So 
lucky he got a uh, lucky he got a manager whose plans for him is flexible. Like you know, what I'm saying we can move around a little bit. So he going, you know, we gonna work something out. So we, we try to get in the ring a little earlier. Then then like another three months. You know what I'm saying? What do you what do you see next for Santa Maria? They gonna build somebody. Somebody to punch him. Somebody with a little name though, but somebody that's been punched on before. They're gonna groom him a little bit. And believe it or not, him and Paul might fuck around and fight again later on down the line. Because I believe he that mentally strong. You know what I'm saying? He a tough kid. Tough kid. Okay, Greg, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm.